Hey y'all, Dachi Gotcha here with a quick video today. Missed out on a lot of sleep, so I hope you don't mind. If there's anything y'all specifically want me to cover, just let me know in the comments below. So, as the title says, unlocking Yggdrasil is going to be very simple, and in the future when other summons are added into the game, they'll be unlocked in a similar manner. First things first, you're going to need to unlock the first summon here, Ignid. You can unlock him by clearing the last map in the Volcano Node here. A side note that may be another prerequisite that I can no longer test is clearing the first subquest on the first island here. It's a quest that involves unlocking the Yggdrasil node on the map and doing a simple mission to fetch an herb. I only add this in just in case as the quest is directly referenced by Yggdrasil. The next prerequisite is to have pulled the giant tree arc. This is a rare arc and also one of the best rare arcs to get early on in the game. This will allow you to teach both heal and healing wind very early on. Healing wind being an AoE heal that can be slapped onto anyone early in the game to keep you in tip top shape. Next is to level the giant tree to level 2 and that's it. Simple enough the fight will unlock and you'll be able to face Yggdrasil herself. Now from my own experience it's hard to tell if the fight is bugged or not. If you end up killing all the adds at once then the boss locks up in the most bullshit way. It gains a null physical damage buff so long as King Pockle is on the map. But if you happen to kill all adds at the same time, this will mess up the game's logic, and Yggdrasil will now continue to heal and only take damage from summons or magic. So, step one, you'll want to kill this sprite here. At best, you'd want to group up King Pockle and the sprite to beat them down at the same time and prevent the sprite from spamming some painful magic at you. Step two is to kill King Pockle. He provides a negate physical damage buff onto Yggdrasil, effectively ruining any chance of killing her unless you have monster magical DPS units, which you probably don't this early in the game. Finally, the Pockle. This one just buffs Yggdrasil with some damage buffs and heals, so it'll slow down the fight, leaving it last, but I think this will be the best way of going about it and the most consistent method I was able to avoid the never-ending negate physical damage bug. When they're all down, focus your attention back onto Yggdrasil and clear out the adds in the same order as Yggdrasil continues to revive them. Once Yggdrasil is a bit under half HP, she will do a large heal on herself. At this point, the adds will all be revived and she will start to throw down some magic herself. Use Ignid if it's available or other AoE skill 4s once they all spawn to help bring them down to low HP. I wasn't able to test if the bug still applies after this large heal, so just be careful when killing everything at once. And that's it. Those are all the big points of the fight. From there, it's pretty straightforward. Wail on Yggdrasil until she's done and reap your reward, her summon. Later on, as I'm pretty sure they didn't add it into the global release yet, when you level the giant tree arc to level 4, you can fight her again to upgrade the summon. This will be covered in the future if the fight ends up differing greatly from the first one. Hopefully this helps y'all clear the fight and gives you the information you need to unlock the second summon. Drop a like on this video if it helped you out, leave a comment below letting me know what y'all want to see next or if you have any questions, and subscribe for future Last Claudia and mobile gaming content. I appreciate all of you and I'll see you next time.